Another level of gene expression in case of eukaryotes is the amount of DNA, amount of messenger RNA available at the time. That level of the amount of messenger RNA available at a particular time is called the steady state level of messenger RNA. And that level determines how much gene expression, how, much, uh, how many copies of the proteins need to be produced from that particular messenger RNA. And uh, so because RNA, once it is produced, is not kept around, it's not a permanent structure of the cell. RNA molecules like proteins are also produced and are utilized at that time. So the steady state level of messenger RNA takes into account whatever is being degraded and whatever is being produced or whatever is available at that time. Since RNA, especially messenger RNA, is not kept around forever, so there are enzymes that are involved in the degradation process of messenger RNA. If more copies were made because there was a need to produce more proteins, so those copies of messenger RNA are degraded. It goes through the process of degradation. So there are enzymes that are involved in that process that will work on a messenger RNA because messenger RNA, in case of eukaryotes, they have five prime cap here. So there is that, you know, a modified uh, guanosine cap on this side, and they have up to about, about 200 adenine nucleotide on the three prime end of the messenger RNA. So enzymes will work on this side, and they will remove this cap because these two structures, polyadenylation tail as well as the five prime cap, are the protection for the messenger RNA from degradation. So both of those things are needed to be removed in order for the degradation or decay process to take place. So the first thing that happens to them is based on uh, exoribonucleases on the three prime end. So the, the three prime end which will be degraded by an enzyme that starts breaking down the polyate tail. Uh, so that is a deadenylase enzyme that is involved only in the removal of polyate tail. Uh, this process um, of the starting initiation of eukaryotic messenger RNA decay uh, is is done with the help of more than one types of enzymes. The first one that actually uh, starts the process is a deadenylase that breaks down the poly A tail. And uh, so this is that deadenylase enzyme that will break it down to the level uh, where it can be taken care of by some other enzyme. Another enzyme that will get involved in that process after the number of poly A tail or uh, adenine nucleotides is reduced below 30. And that is called as the, uh, that is an exosome complex. So exosome complex, which is shown here, it also does a very similar job. So as uh, the adenylase do, uh, does, so it removes the poly A tail. And so this will continue the process that was uh, stopped by uh, deadenylase. So it will break down going from 3' prime towards 5'. Prime. The degradation process will go in the opposite direction of the synthesis. On the 5' prime end, uh, there is a decapping enzyme. So decapping enzyme removes the 7-methyl uh, uh, G cap and after that another Another uh, enzyme uh, will in get involved in the process, which is another exoribonuclease. Uh, nuclease. Exoribonuclease enzymes are those that actually uh, decay uh, towards the terminals. So they are not the ones that will break down RNA or DNA from the middle. Um, so the other enzyme that is involved is called XRNI. XRN1 enzyme, sorry, 
Um, so this enzyme is the one that will decay, that will break down the nucleotides, ribonucleotides going from 5 prime towards 3 prime. So at the end, you know, the whole thing will be completely decayed. The nucleotide that will be retained at the end, those will be utilized or they will be recycled to produce more RNA molecules from them. So the, it's kind of a two-pronged process. It starts from poly -A tail, which stabilizes the three prime end with the help of an exoribonuclease, and then the other one will start with a decapping uh, enzyme that will start from the five prime end. So that will remove the cap, and then other enzymes will get involved in that process to remove all the nucleotides, break them down. So there's no point of keeping them around when there is no need for more proteins to be produced from the same. So that mechanism is very effective in the degradation process. Another decaying mechanism is called nonsense mediated decay, NMD. So this mechanism is related to, uh, to the process that results in the formation of shorter messenger RNAs than expected. Uh, so whenever there is a uh, unexpected type of a stop codon inserted because of mutations, uh, then this process gets triggered because, uh, and, and this mechanism uh, of recognition with the help of some proteins is triggered uh, when a shorter messenger RNA is present, especially the one where a stop codon is found, you know, very much um, before the poly A tail, way, um, you know, basically too far ahead of the poly A tail or upstream, uh, upstream of an axon axon junction. So those are the triggers for this type of a decay mechanism. Um, that's why it's called as nonsense mediated decay mechanism that uh, a, a wrong type of a stop codon got inserted. Uh, way before the polyatail signal, way before the polyatail is added, or if it detects, uh, you know, if it detects a stop codon way before the exon-exon junction. 